Imagine a world where everybody was sick in the town of Holland. Asthma and bronchitis running rampant in almost every person living in our future. Now imagine a world where that wouldn't happen. That could and potentially will be the future of Holland, Michigan. And with the Holland Community Energy Plan, we might not have to worry about a future so grim. Currently, the city of Holland is going to use an estimate of 75% more energy in the next 40 years. Our job is to find a renewable energy source that we can rely on for the following years to come. In our time today, around 93% of the world's energy consumption is relied on non-renewable energy sources such as oil and coal. The burning of these fossil fuels emit toxic gases into the atmosphere and will cause environmental damage that kill wildlife and ruin the ozone layer. Renewable energy sources such as wind, solar, and wave are possible substitutes for fossil fuels. Here are some possible alternatives to remove Holland's coal plant. One of the reasons for the sickness in the future and replace it with greener, more efficient fuel. Onshore wind energy has been utilized for power generation for more than 2,000 years. But in modern times, wind energy is mainly used to generate electricity, primarily through the use of wind turbines. As some may know, wind turbines are a great source of collecting energy through wind. Now, some of you may also be questioning, well, where is all the wind? And the answer lies over the water at Lake Michigan. The next step would be to move the wind farms to the water, approximately six miles out. Many of you may be wondering how will this affect tourism and your view of the beach. And the answer is simple. Tourism won't change at all. In fact, your view would be almost no different than it was before. There would only be about half an inch view of the turbines in the distance. And many say that it would affect our view of pleasure experience at all. Offshore wind turbines are being used in a number of countries to harness the energy of a moving air over the oceans and converting it into electricity for the common use in their cities. Offshore energy wind speeds tend to be faster and stronger than those caught on land, meaning we would create more energy because of this. And yes, even though it, this is a lake and not an ocean, there is still a decent amount of air to catch. Many offshore areas have ideal wind conditions for wind facilities. Places such as Denmark and the United Kingdom have installed large offshore wind facilities to take advantage of the consistent winds. Today, just more than 600 megawatts of offshore wind energy is installed worldwide, all in shallow waters, about 30 meters off the coast of many areas, Europe included. Negatives and positives of the wind farms would be hundreds if not thousands of jobs will be created for this new occupation. Each unit of electricity generated from the wind that saves a unit generated from fossil fuels, which will help reduce greenhouse gases, pollutants, and waste products that will result in fossil fuel use, which means that altogether plant and animal life will be sustained and the ozone layer won't deteriorate any more than it already has. Some of you may be wondering why there isn't already wind turbines in Lake Michigan, and here's a short video from Wood TV's 8 to explain. But before any decision is made, Ottawa County officials say they want specifics. Ottawa County hasn't believed that we've received adequate information yet. Uh, obviously, we've been told there's benefits of this proposal, but we know there's also costs, and we simply haven't seen that balanced information provided yet. How many jobs, how much money, and how will it affect tourism? I think that uh, there hasn't been a consistent approach uh, to information and what decisions are needed and desired uh, as far as to get the project under. The wave attenuator is also a power creator that we could use on the water as well. This device is a long and multi-segmented and floats on the surface. The attenuator is anchored in place with a mooring line and positioned perpendicularly in incoming waves. Some attenuators tap only to the heave motion, also known as vertical. Other tap both heave and surge, which is horizontal. The device captures energy as the motion of the wave causes it to flex with the segments connect. There are many other ways to be more energy efficient, and that is at home. The average household uses on estimate around 15 to 20 kilowatts per day. So some ways to keep energy efficient use energy efficient light bulbs to lower on the electricity use, or re-insulate your home, which can save on your heating and cooling bill, and for some of you, gas. You can get a grant from BPW to help with the price of this for any home renovation you wish to do. For more information on Going Green, go to go-green.com.